16, 17, 18 talking about the domain of a function. Normally the domain of a linear function or a cubic function or a quadratic function is all real numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity because you can put anything in for x and still get a y value. However, when we have things like fractions and square roots, we have to eliminate some things from our domain because there's cases where we get something that's undefined. So with a fraction, we know division by zero is not defined. We can't have zero on the bottom of our fraction. It wants us to find all the values of x that are not in the domain because most values of x will work, there's just a few that won't. So what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever's in the denominator, the x squared plus 5x plus 4, and we know that it can't equal zero because otherwise we'll have zero on the bottom of the fraction, which is undefined. So if we solve this, since it's a quadratic one, by factoring, factors of 4 that add it to 5, 4, and 1. So again, since it's set equal to 0, we end up moving it over and getting the opposite. x can't be negative 4 or negative 1. So since it says what values are not in the domain, negative 4 and negative 1 would be values not in my domain because they're giving me 0 on the bottom of my fraction. Number 17 then, again we have a fraction, it wants to find the values that are not in the domain. In this case we just have x plus 4 that can't equal 0. So moving our 4 to the other side, the only thing that is not in our domain is the negative 4. And number 18, same kind of thing. I've got a fraction. I know the denominator. The x squared minus 1 cannot equal 0. If I factor that out, x and x plus and a minus and a 1 and a 1. So x can't equal here. Negative 1 would give me 0. Here, positive 1 would give me 0. So negative 1 and positive 1 are the values that are not in my domain. So on a fraction, we always have to watch for those undefined values that we can't have by setting it equal to zero and solving.